I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him, Frank Stone, my key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Of a manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. And I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... I know what about. That missing boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest in all Cedar Hills. 
But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. You sound confident. And rightly so. Can I check your records? No records? The logbook, visitors to the mill, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. All right, right. Uh, well, gotta be here someplace. Is that it? Uh, it's okay. Allow me. I see. Have you noticed anything suspicious around the mill? Tonight? Tonight, last few nights, anything at all? No, nope, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Hmm. Why, heck, if you don't believe me, ask your boss. My boss? Sheriff Kusich. Right. My boss. He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here, and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. And he got back in his car and left. Huh. So what you're telling me is nobody's actually checked the mail for any sign of the boy. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? No, Tom, it does not. I'm talking human investigators only. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. <sighs> Any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Of course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. window. I can get in through there. Huh. Huh. Easy does it.
Aha. Hello? Anyone here? It's police. Who's there? Ugh, smells like death. Mr. Green. Officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, we haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> ah. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. If you two made proper acquaintance. Ugh. God damn it. Ugh. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate?
Will you look at that? That damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well, somebody does. What was that sound? Stay behind me. So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Gotcha. Stand back. All right, take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know, but I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey, I'm gonna need you to take this too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh, oh, boy, I don't know. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. I can do this. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope.
This has got to be it. This place turns my stomach. Huh. Things just get weirder and weirder down here. Damn small spaces.
motherfucker. This is right. Mom? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm here. Everything's all right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean, the left. The left side is the right side. The scaffold was high, and eternity was near. Is that a hitchhiker? You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. Yeah, so do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from. Currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and... all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well... I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but... I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. Take a look. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow.
this place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... Doorbell. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way, is it? Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown-up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently... Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Hello? Let's take a look around. Um, hello? We've arrived. This seems a bit more lively. Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. It, short for... Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? <laughs> what? Midtown. The Big Apple, the, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue, okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Um, have you been waiting here a while? For more than a minute and less than a lifetime. Is that long? Well, it certainly felt that way until you arrived. The front door was unlocked, so I wandered around and made myself at home. Till I found a way to really make myself at home. Isn't it kind of weird there's no one here? I mean, we were invited, right? Ah, yes. Well, one could write a book in all the incomprehensible complexities of British hospitality. Many have, in fact. Oh, Stan, this is... Linda Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am... I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay. Sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your beck and call, only to call me Stan. Right. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. Wow, I didn't realize you were, like, famous, famous. Famous construct, and I'm not. Oh, no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon? Transcendent. Blood on the brain? Mandatory. 
forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no, I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry, I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope, just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. Well, nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. A bit of light bedtime reading. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Murder Mill. Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute, where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. to happen I don't know but I am taking the theatrics <laughs> ah good I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival there are a great many things that require my attention at the moment and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together <clears throat> ah yes and speaking of needing attention all dried up, are we? We can't have that. 
After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice as I would have not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Uh, no, that's okay. You sure? It's very good. It can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly, should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I, I... I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it... I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain... Why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing... All in due course, Ms. Castle. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. 
You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. <laughs> no, no, no. My sister? Oh, God. All I have to do is betray my own sister. And you'll let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little? You gotta play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Brad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Linda, when you're making movies, you gotta respect the director's vision. And this is Chris's film, so... Don't worry about it. Let's... Just go again, okay? You did it your way, now we do it my way. Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right, on your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Oh, 
dude, that's not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right, sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Oh, man. Sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He can't. And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? The camera just needs to be fixed. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. out sir now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me I'll be watching yes sir 